from the Leukemia Campaign to Spirit Week, we've, we've got, got the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is April 26th, and today in music history, the Rolling Stones' self-titled album was issued. It, w it went on to be the number 11 and began a, a string of more than 40 albums, charting it into the next five decades. Well, Juan, that's pretty interesting and all, but let's get started with school news before we get too off topic. All right, Myra. Okay, well, let's start with the sports, by announcing the sports. Today, varsity and JV softball will play against Catella, and it will take place at their field. Here we have them with Anna to tell you guys a little bit more on how things are going for them in league. Hi, I'm here with Emily and Ruby. Hi, I'm here with Emily, Ruby, and Ellis. You guys play Catella today. What do you? How do you feel about coming into this game? I feel pretty good, pretty confident in my team, and hopefully we go out and we get the win. What are you guys uh, um, gonna do to get this win today? Well, our defense is pretty strong right now, so hopefully our bats come alive and we keep our head in. And what are, what do you hope to accomplish for the rest of the season? Um, to keep working hard and like, give it our all and enjoy the rest of the season. Thank you and good luck, girls. Boys varsity and JV tennis will rally, like, right, today with the Catella Knights here at Century. Boys Volleyball beat Magnolia yesterday and is on pace to do something no other team has done. Here to explain a little more is the inside scoops, Anna Perez with Coach Kavanaugh. I'm Anna Perez and I'm here with our athletic director, Coach Kavanaugh. So this spring season has been big for our boys volleyball and baseball. So tell us a little bit more about that. It has been a great spring for us. Uh, right now, we're fortunate. We have uh, two of our teams, boys volleyball and baseball, in first place in the Orange League, and it's getting close to the end of the year. Uh, volleyball is currently 8-0 in league play and uh, ranked eighth in CIF Division IV, which is a huge achievement for them. And our baseball team is 8-1 uh, right now. Our softball team is doing as well as it has in a long time. They've got a huge game today at Catella. So it has been a really good spring. Our boys volleyball will be playing tomorrow versus Catella. What is, what is the importance of that game? If they can win tomorrow, our boys volleyball team will uh, capture the first league championship in boys volleyball in the history of the school. And so the next time you're in the gym and you look up there on the wall, you'll see all the league championship banners. And uh, there'll be one for boys volleyball if they can win tomorrow against Catella. The varsity game will start sometime around 4.15 tomorrow. And if you're on campus, we'd love for you to come. Admission to the volleyball games is always free. There's really no excuse not to come. We hope no matter what you enjoy, uh, that you'll find a way to stop in on your way home and uh, grab some nachos, watch a game, and uh, have a good time with your friends. Thank you, Coach Kavanaugh. Track and Field is going to have their last home league meet tomorrow against Catella at 315. So make sure to go out and support them. Varsity Baseball will have a game today versus Magnolia at 330 here in our field. So make sure to go out and cheer them on. Let's move on from sports to birthdays. If today's your birthday, then <laughs> happy birthday. You share the same birthday with Channing Tatum. He came out in many movies such as 21 Jump Street and Magic Mike. I'll stop talking about him now because I'm pretty sure most of you guys know him. So, yeah. yeah. 
Well, that's cool and all, but you also share the same birthday with Jason Earls. You know the guy from Hannah Montana. He will be turning 38 today. I feel old. You also share the same birthday with Kevin James. He is well known for playing the part for his role in Mall Cop. Okay, well, once again, happy birthday if today's your birthday, but hey Juan, didn't you say last week that you were going to be in this play here at Century? Okay, well, okay whatever. So yes! Why, Myra? Well, because aren't there going to be pre previews tomorrow? Yes, Myra. Previews will start second period and they will end six, obviously. But the real show will be on Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. in the TCC. This play definitely looks interesting. I've heard you guys been are going to be in the play yourself. Hi, Myra. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I know you guys have been working really hard, but to put this play together, you guys practice every day after school, right? Yes, we've been practicing every day since, Febu since February. Mm, but also make sure, make <laughs> sure to, go if you guys want to see your favorite Disney princess in action, to go see Game of Tiaras. Preso tickets will be $4 starting today, and at the door will be $6. And here at the moment, we have some of the drama kids to talk a little more about the play. Hi, I'm here with Pedro and Natalie. They're both in drama. You guys are performing a play, Game of Tiaras, on Thursday and Friday, like Juan and Myra said. Can you give us a little bit more about what the play is going to be about? Well, the play is about, uh, it's a parody of Game of Thrones using the Disney princesses. Uh, it's not the typical Disney princess you see in movies, but it's it has a lot of intensity and a lot of Disney puns, um, and it should be amazing. If, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like most about this play? Um, I like how there's a lot of action involved, and these typical like nice princesses, they're not nice in this play. They're like actually really mean, and they're all against each other. So, yeah, I like that. Thank you. Well, Myra, did you know on Friday the Special Olympics <laughs> were being held in Valley? Yes, Juan. I was there to cheer them on with all the other ASB kids. Well, Robert and Carlos went out to capture it all. So just in case you guys didn't get a, didn't get a chance to see, roll the clip. I'm here with Kent. Kent, how do you feel about running in a couple of seconds? Really good. Huh? Really good. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you going to win? Yeah. Okay! Go, Kent! Go, Kent! Go, Go, Pedro! Go, Pedro! Go Sentry! Go!
got in because I got a number one medal and I thought it from Tossie and it was amazing and it was really hard. Yeah, thanks for wishing us luck and everything else. We are proud of you. <laughs> Every year, PAL Club organizes a leukemia fundraiser, and the funding is used to find a cure for leukemia. And here to explain a little bit more is some members from PAL. <laughs> <laughs> I am here with Sonia and Alex. Um, can you guys explain a little bit more what the leukemia campaign is about? Well, sure. Well, leukemia is a type of cancer of forming tissues which are hindering the body's ability to fight infections and in order to do so we had such events that is going on around today for today it's going to be handing out the classroom boxes which is one of these if anyone is interested in these and on the 28th there's going to be a ring a bell for the for the life ring toss okay thank you what are you guys doing to fundraise for this event well, we're going to be doing collections. We're going to be going around, um, passing out boxes for those who want to help out. And it'd be really good if you guys, oh, it'd be really good if you guys help because it's something that we would want to someday have a cure for. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. So make sure to go by and collect the box. And if you guys don't want to, just make sure to donate money. Thank you. For those of you who don't, who don't know what leukemia is, is cancer of the body's blood forming tissues, including that the bone, marrow, and the lymphatic system. Myra, do you know that this week is spirit week? Yeah, I know it. Today was supposed to be twin with your squad. Tomorrow's keep it classy, Karina, so wear something classy. Thursday is equality with Edith, which means girls were blue and guys were pink. Friday, <laughs> Friday will be out of this world of Ellie. Dress the way you feel when you're out of this world. And now, time for the quote of the week. April 27, 1791 is the birthday of inventor Samuel Morse. He created the telegraph machine as well as the code that was used with more commonly referred to as Morse code. So here to sign off is the Morse code. Dash, dot, 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 dash, dot, dot. Well, it basically means be excellent to each other. Bye.